Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Rob Milligan, PC candidate for Northumberland County West. I'm here with MPP John O'Toole. Over the past two weeks, since we've launched our Ontario PC Change Book, we have been out on the road talking with real families about the real change a PC government will bring to Ontario families. Time and time again, what we hear from Ontario families is a reflection of what our caucus and candidates have heard time and time again. Families just can't make ends meet. The family budget is under siege. The source of this hardship is clear. Dalton McGinty just cannot help himself from raising your taxes. Under Dalton McGinty, life has become simply unaffordable for Ontario families. If Dalton McGinty is re-elected this fall, it will only get worse. Just like a raccoon cannot help but pry into your family garbage, Dalton McGinty, if given the power, cannot help but pry into your family budget. His taxes, he spends, then he taxes some more. It's in his DNA. It's simply what he is hardwired to do. But now we are approaching a magical season, just like the Olympics. For about a month, once every four years, Dalton McGinty presents, pretends to care about how much tax you pay while he seeks your votes during the general election campaign. But by now, his pattern of behavior is clear. Once the votes have been counted, Dalton always reverts to his old behavior and the tax grabs begin once again. This fall, Dalton McGinty will once again likely mouth all the right words about taxes. But right now, his real agenda is clear. If given the term, another Dalton McGinty government will introduce new taxes tax new things and increase the taxes you already pay. Whether it's the HST hike, a carbon tax, as his caucus colleagues support, or something sneaky and new, like more eco taxes, or higher health taxes, we know it's coming. There's no tax Dalton McGinty won't consider increasing, but it's his favorite is certainly the carbon tax. This means higher gas prices at the pumps. It means even higher hydro bills and higher prices for home heating. Jack Mintz, the academic who convinced Dalton McGinty to impose the HSD, is now saying that the next great tax increase is a carbon tax. Dalton McGinty's carbon tax is an unaffordable tax on everything. He and his ministers believe it is not only necessary to pay for their unaffordable waste, but the right thing to do to punish Ontario families for using energy. It is clear, Dalton McGinty will raise taxes, but we will not. There is only one way we can prevent Dalton McGinty from raising our taxes after October 6th and that is by replacing him. Show him the door. A PC government led by Tim Hudak will finally restore respect for how hard working Ontario families work and how much tax they already pay. We will remove the HST from hydro and home heating fuels, lower middle class income tax by 5%, introduce income sharing, cancel the sneaky eco tax, and double the caregiver take tax credit. You have a clear choice in this election. You can vote for more unannounced and undesirable tax hikes. If the Dalton McGinty Liberal government is re-elected, they will hike taxes just like they've done twice before. Or you can vote for change and for a tax relief by voting for the Ontario PC Party and our change book. We invite concerned Ontario families to join us 
and vote for change as we work together to ensure Dalton McGuinty never gets the opportunity to increase taxes again. Thank you. Very good. I'm here with Rob today. Uh, on behalf of Tim Hudak, to, to make the message clear that the evidence is in that over the last three elections, Dalton McGuinty has promised to raise your taxes. I'll give you a background here, quoting the, and citing the particular name. More recently, in May, in Scarborough, he's recorded as saying, when asked, uh, what's your plan for the future? What he said in brief was, I'll continue doing what I'm doing. And we know what that's been. We're here with Rob. I'm here with Rob today because I think he'll stand up for the taxpayers in this region and show them some respect. Just today, before we, uh, we met with the media here, I took a walk on the main street and talked to a few of the small businesses. All of them say they're finding it difficult and slow. They need respect as well, and that's why we're here today, and I, I commend Rob and uh, all the people that to, to give a, call, a strong voice to Rob and uh, give him some support. The election's October the 6th, and I uh, thank very much the media coming out today. The chatter was that it would be a lot simpler to just move that over, because originally it was 7% GST and 8% PST. It would have been 15%, a nice easy calculation. 10% people could count in their head. They'd know how much more that car would cost, yeah. how much that whatever it is you're buying is going to cost, how much your cable TV, your computer, your cell phone, your haircut, whatever. So that every suspicion that he would move the two points, move in on the two points and make it 15% HST. That, that's the chatter. And so why would I say something like that? That's, I always look to the history. The history is a great predictor of future behavior. And that's, that's what he's done. And the eco tax, definitely. It's almost yeah. foolproof. He, he stood beside Dion and said, his, his Minister of the Environment, John Garrison, said it. I, I'm surprised that people are so forgiving. He's a very nice person. That's not what this is about. I think people are taxed to the max. I think the families that I'm aware of, my wife and I had five children. The families I'm aware of are, they're not mad, they're just, dis they feel disrespected or ignored. All the, the bureaucrats, the civil servants, sort of think that there's an endless supply to readjust our economy and taking their money to do it. I, I, I really feel for families, I'm over 65, and for seniors that I talk to, they are not normally given to being complainers, but they are now having to decide whether to go to Tim Hortons in the morning or pay the, 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 the HST on their gas or whatever they're buying. They have nowhere to go. They have to cut something. It's going to be TV or their cell phone or cable channel, whatever. They're going to cut something. And I think that's the respect that I feel. That's my way of phrasing it is respect for people and small business. Look along the street and you'll see old up. Yeah. They're making their own living.